Occasionally, very small volumes of liquid preparations are needed to formulate a product. Oftentimes, the volumes needed are below the minimum measurable volume established for the volumetric glassware that may be available to you. In situations such as this, preforming a liquid-liquid aliquot will allow you to obtain the small volume of drug that you desire. The following narration will take you through the calculations and steps used in performing a liquid-liquid aliquot using a hypothetical preservative solution and distilled water. In this example, we are using a hypothetical liquid preservative, which we will refer to as Preservative A 20% Solution. This preparation has been colored orange for the purposes of illustration. The volumetric glassware that we have at our disposal includes a 10 milliliter and 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. The minimum measurable volume for each cylinder size, not to exceed 5% error, can be found published in various sources and is listed at 2 milliliters and 10 milliliters, respectively. In this example, the amount of preservative A that we wish to obtain is 20 milligrams. Setting up a simple proportion, we can calculate that the volume of 20% preservative A solution needed to provide this amount is 0.1 milliliters. And this is far below the minimum measurable volume of the glassware that we have available. Therefore, in order to obtain the 20 milligram of preservative that we desire, we must perform a liquid-liquid aliquot. Our first step is to select our glassware and then select a volume of preservative A to measure that is equal to or above the minimum measurable volume of the glassware we have selected. Here, we choose to use the 10 milliliter graduated cylinder and to measure 2 milliliters as our minimum measurable volume, which is equal to the published minimum measurable volume for this cylinder. Before proceeding, we need to calculate the amount of preservative A that resides in the minimum measurable volume of 2 milliliters that we selected. Setting up the proportion, we determine that the minimum measurable volume of 2 milliliters contains 0.4 grams of preservative A. Based on the quantity of preservative A in our minimum measurable volume calculated in the previous step, we now select a convenient final volume of solution to be used in preparing the dilution. Here we select 40 milliliters. Doing so, the concentration of our dilution, once it is prepared, will be 10 milligrams per milliliter. Next, we need to determine what volume of this dilution will provide us with 20 milligrams of preservative A that we desire. Doing so, we see that 2 milliliters of the 10 milligrams per milliliter dilution will provide 20 milligrams of preservative A. We now prepare the dilution by first transferring the 2 milliliters of preservative A from the 10 milliliter graduated cylinder to a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. Next, we QS this 2 milliliters of the preservative A solution to a total volume of 40 milliliters using distilled water. Once mixed, we now have 40 milliliters of a preservative A dilution concentrated at 10 milligrams per milliliter. Finally, from this dilution, we now measure back 2 milliliters, which contains the 20 milligrams of preservative A that we desire. Cylinders containing the original 20% preservative A solution on the left and the final aliquot containing 10 milligrams per milliliter preservative A dilution 
on the right are shown here.